All right, Thanksgiving, 1968. And I used a uh, TV tray for the background for the titles. Bad idea. Too busy. I'm was... making pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket? Mm-hmm. And there are the blankets. I see the blankets. I don't see the pigs. They're in there. Oh, they go in the oven. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was our first Thanksgiving together, right? And As a married couple, yes. As a oh. Did we we had celebrated a Thanksgiving in 1967. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh. Nobody brought a movie camera, I guess. No, we went to Aunt, Aunt Danny's, though. Oh. Okay, here are your parents arriving. And they brought gifts. A spatula. How appropriate. Yeah. And my sweetie brings in breakfast. And then we went to the home of Aunt Danny and Uncle Henry Smith. Right. And this was my feeble attempt at a bad joke. Dan and Henry Smith, the Smith brothers. Okay. Now the bad joke is out of the way. I don't know what you said to me there. I don't know, but we're fixing. That's my Aunt Danny. She's fixing a gravy. That's Mima, my mother's mother. And your dad. My daddy. And they're discussing something. My mother's carving something. There's the electric knife. There's Aunt Danny. And uh, David and Ron. And Memo. Memo. Your mother, Kathy, Uncle Henry, my sweetie, Mary Jane, and your dad. And there's Bobby. Bobby. Bobby was our ring bearer. Yeah. So he was four. And the uh, plate <clears throat> being filled with beans. There's your dad filling his plate. There's me. So I think you were probably taking this. Yeah, right? I probably was. Mm-hmm. And your dad couldn't find a place to sit down. Well, he did sit. He was just trying to figure out. Eventually. He said, who's sitting there? He said, well, then maybe I'll, I'll go over, over here. here. Well, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll just sit here anyway. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll lick my thumb. Lick the gravy off my thumb. And there's me. Pre-mustache. Shaking. Oh, mashed potatoes. And with, with hair. With hair. Okay. That was gravy. Shake it off the spoon. A little showmanship here. That's just. <laughs> Somebody re made a remark. I don't know what yeah. it was. MJ. And oh, yes. The beans. Beans. And a muffin. Now sit down. That is David, the recently retired police chief of El Segundo, before he was in the force. And Pecan pie. Cassie's helping me dry the dishes, and she's drying. I'm washing. Yeah. And there's Bobby with his pie and his Coca-Cola. I think he's <clears throat> getting advice from someone or <laughs> something. It, there's the tinkle bell. <laughs> Tell us about the Tinkle Bell. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's a Tinkle Bell. Oh. I thought you were going to fill us in on the history. 
sketching a little background, as it were. Nope. And it's time to do the dishes. Is that what that is? More yeah. dishes. Yeah, well, I mean, there's always dishes. Oh. Kathy is watching TV. This looks posed. Well, they're looking at wedding pictures, I think. Oh. There's Uncle Henry. Shielding his eyes from the glare of the movie lights. Mary Jane and Ron. The front door. Everybody's squinting. Your dad and Bobby. And David. David. And Bobby is going to sit on Betty Lou's lap. No, oh, he loved me. Yeah. He's going to play his mandolin for the more Tinkle Bell stuff. Mm hmm. But you're going to get a cohort. There you go. And we return home. Now this was this was not <clears throat> extemporaneous. This was staged. This was scripted. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Can we figure out what was on the shelf there? Something, a sleeping bag maybe. Oh, and then you come in, close the door, request my help. Zipping your dress, unzipping it, and you uh, evidently want this to remain private. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>